Hi everyone, this is Angela. I um, wanted to come on and do a quick haul video. Haven't done a haul in a while. I am going to try and get back to doing more haul videos because I know you guys, um, it's a lot of you guys that really like haul videos. So I need to get back to posting my shopping trips. But I really haven't been doing a whole lot of uh, shopping. So anyway, I went to CVS yesterday. Did some of the same deals that have been talked about on the YT this week. The Procter & Gamble deal, did the um, did that twice. I tried to do the Aveeno deal, but my store only had two of the two and a half ounce bottles, so that was not going to fly. If they'd had more, I'm sure I wouldn't have had a problem at my store. The cashiers are really, really nice and helpful, so I really love my CVS. Anyway, okay, first transaction, I did the two bottles of Tide. I did six bottles of the Dawn detergent and the two packs of the Duracell batteries. Um, now, I went in, my out-of-pocket was kind of high because I have not been CVS couponing for a while. And I only went in with the $3 birthday ECB that I talked about in a previous video. So, when you first start out, it was like I'm a newbie. Um, when you first start out couponing at the drugstores, you have to come out of pocket sometimes with a little bit of money so that you can build up your ECBs. The only way that's not going to happen every now and again, there is some fantabulous deal where you can actually go in, spend very little money out of pocket, use some really good coupons, and um, get ECBs that way. But for the most part, you know, you have to start out spending a little bit money, little bit of money out of pocket. Um, I came out of pocket, like I said, quite a bit. First transaction, $23.53. I don't know if you can see that here. I had $10 in coupons. I used a $3 ECB and $7 in manufacturer coupon. I used two $1 tie coupons. I used um, $3 off of two for the Dawn. And I used two $1 off uh, coupons for the batteries. Okay. So altogether, I had $7 in manufacturer coupons, $3 in CVS coupons for a total of $10. And I got my $10 ECB back. Second transaction. Everybody knows the Herbal Essence deal. Mine did not work out quite the way um, everyone else's. And I believe it's because I had a $2. Um, Coupon from the red box off any shampoo, conditioner, or styler, excluding salon, that I also use. And I should have, I believe I should have given that to the cashier at the end. I don't know if that would have made a difference. But when I handed them the BOGOs, I ended up, um, I didn't realize that I handed them the $2 one as well. I also bought a gallon of milk because I thought I was going to have some overage actually. And so I got the milk, but it was it still kind of worked out pretty good. The milk was two seventy nine. Um, my total out of pocket ended up being two fifty eight. A dollar seventy nine of that was for tax. Seventy nine cents um, was the actual cost out of pocket without tax. One of my manufacturer coupons was adjusted down to ninety four cents. Um, that was the dollar off of two Herbal Essence coupon that I tried to use. And the other one, um, the third one, it would not take. So I wasn't quite able to do the deal the way that Greg, that dude, did. Um, his video was the only one I think I watched all the way through. But I do know that this deal was done by quite a few other people. So I want to thank all of them for um, posting that deal. Um, so basically, it was really just a straight-up money maker. I paid two fifty eight. And I got uh, $10 back. And I'm okay with that. It, to me, it was like I got the Herbal Essence for free. And a two fifty eight basically paid for the milk. And then I still got $10 back. So now I have $20 in ECBs. I also believe that I have gotten to the $50 to get um, an $5 ECB from the Beauty Club. So I'm looking forward to that. And I really, really hope that that's the case. Um, I'm going to go to CVS tomorrow because it usually take a couple of days before it'll print out. So I'm going to try and go tomorrow and see if that prints out to know for sure. And if that's the case, then I have $25 in ECBs. I spent $26.11 out of pocket. And hopefully, uh, I'll have $25 back. So I know some people feel like, oh, we well, basically only spent a dollar and some change. Well, no, I don't look at it like that. I count my ECBs in the transaction that I use them. 
because that's when it's actually being spent. So to me, right now, I just came out of pocket at CVS $26. Um, but I do, you know, like the idea that when I go back again, I will probably not have to come out of pocket with anything or it'll be very, very little. Okay, also, on the end of my first transaction, I got the following coupon, 10% off of your next beauty club purchase, three days only. I don't know, for some reason, I this card was already signed up with beauty club, but it seems like he signed me up again, and it shot this coupon out. It's only good until the second, which is um, day after tomorrow. I doubt if I will use it because it does exclude sale and promotional items. But anyway, that's what came out. I also got a 10 off, the, off of 50. And if I have $25 in ECBs, you can best believe this will get used. So um, I was really happy to see that. The other coupons that I got out of the red box yesterday were the standard ones that everyone else had gotten this week. Um, my store did not have the dollar off gold emblem potato chips, so I was not able to get any free chips. I am going to try a different store uh, before those coupons expire and see if I can get up on some free potato chips. Um, the last thing is this uh, bottle of lotion back here. This is the CVS brand Advanced Healy Fragrance Free Lotion. I had a red box coupon for $2 off of any CVS brand lotion, hand or body lotion. This was $2.19. And where's the receipt for that? I had all my receipts right here. Okay. That one was $2.19. It took $2 off, so it was $0.19 cents plus a penny tax. I paid $0.20 cents for that bottle of lotion, and I believe that's the third or fourth bottle I've gotten using that same coupon that keeps coming out every few weeks. So I've really let a lot of good coupons expire. I am really mad at myself. I've been getting like 25% off coupons in my email like crazy. I let a uh, dollar off of some milk coupon expire. And I called up to my store, and they said it depends on the cashier as to whether or not they will take expired coupons. So I am holding on to them. I did try to use them uh, yesterday because I was not feeling well when I got to CVS. So I really just didn't feel like haggling. Plus, I really didn't see the two cashiers um, that are usually really, really nice. Um, the girl that I had to talk to when I called up there, she was like, I'll let you use them, but, you know, it depends on who you get. So I'm going to wait until I see her up there, and then I'm going to try to use my expired coupons. Because I also had a $1.50 off to any CVS facial cleansing um, towelettes that I would really like to use as well. Okay, I believe that's it, guys. Um, it was, I'm sorry, my cord fell out of my my um, phone and my battery is almost dead so I need the cord to be in okay um coupon like a man mentioned this in one of his previous videos thank you um I did pick some of these up they were actually on a display as soon as I walked in the door and since it is good until December 7th um I did grab I think like four of them um you can't use it on um sales items but I figure, you know, maybe it'll be good to use when I purchase milk for my daughter or, you know, maybe some other items. So, I decided to grab a few. Okay. Alrighty. And I guess that's it for right now, guys. I do have a couple of more videos I want to get done tonight. And it is getting kind of late, which is why I sold my videos so dark, especially over here. But my beautiful herbal essence that was free, free, free. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.